All right, hello. This is my new, well, new to me, 2007 Yamaha FZ6 in deep red metallic. I just picked up this bike yesterday, unloaded it, got it into the garage. So I figured I'd do a quick walkthrough, tell you a little bit what I know about the bike. Um, this will be fun. This is my very first motorcycle. So uh, congratulations to me. I have a project does not currently run. Um, let me do a quick walk through the bike and I'll kind of tell you what I know. And, but I'd love to see everybody's comments um, around what, what, uh, what they think about the bike and also what I should do. Um, so this is a 2007 model. Um, it has approximately 12,000 miles on it um, per, the, per the previous owner did not, uh, has not been run, has not been ridden in at least four, probably five years. So it sat in a garage for for a, a large amount of time. And from the obvious here, they've started a, a naked conversion, um, pulled out the front fairing and the headlight. So I have some of the bits and pieces of, of the kit. And I think some of the original parts have not decided which route I wanna take. Um, whether I want to finish the conversion or put it back uh, into original. So it's not, it's not in terrible condition, um, apart from just being pretty dusty and dirty and a little bit of surface corrosion um, from sitting for an extended period of time. Um, this side of the bike looks really, really, really clean, really good. It's not until you get to this side of the bike um, that you can see that this bike um, had been dropped. Uh, a pretty good, pretty good drop at some point in its life. Um, from the previous owner, um, it was the first owner that uh, um, that this occurred, and uh, and the subsequent repair. So it's. It's not a. It, it's not the worst uh, worst repair I've seen, um, but it is a bit dodgy. So I need to figure out what I want to do with this um, to make this look a little nicer. Um, so you can see it's got a little bit, a little bit of nicks on the frame, and then down here at the at the engine cover. Um, also notice the um, aluminum shift lever just tweaked ever so slightly from. From what I can tell, again, this is just kind of from a layman's perspective. I'm not a professional mechanic. Um, the chain, the chain doesn't look terrible outside of being a bit dirty. So I haven't quite figured out what I want to do um, other than um, pull apart the front sprocket cover, take a look at it, and uh, and see how and see how clean it is. Um, Obviously the tires, so let me see if I can find the date code on these things. Um, here we go. I'm not sure if you can see this. So if I'm reading this right, um, this tire was manufactured in the 39th week of 2009. And the rears, which I would expect to be maybe a little newer. Let's see if I'm right here. This is the 26th week of 2010. So, <laughs> a, a little newer, but but quite old. So, obvious reasons, tires is definitely gonna be on the shopping list. So, pretty much all the consumables, all the fluids, I've, I've, I've got to dump, refresh. The battery has long since been dead. Uh, I need to pull that out, put a new, put a new battery in it. Um, probably swap out the spark plugs, um, take a look at the radiator hoses, make sure all the rubber bits are in, are in decent condition, but got to figure out what I want to do with the front, with the front fairing. Um, also the, uh, rear view mirrors have kind of seen, seen a little better days, um, a few nicks, uh, a little bit of scratching on the handlebars as you'd expect for a bike that's been, it's been dropped. 
it happens. It's, uh, but other than that, um, it looks to be a really, really fun project. And, and I'm excited to kind of share step by step what I'm going to do. And also the things that I'm going to do right, the things I'm going to do wrong. Uh, hopefully it'll be, uh, it'll be somewhat humorous, at least entertaining uh, to kind of go through this step um, as a first time motorcycle owner. So, all right. Wish me luck. Thank you.